What's up y'all? It's Jeffrey back here at Flippin' Profit and today we're gonna do another top 10 what sold video. These are the top 10 items that I've sold in the past couple weeks. I like doing these kind of videos to help beginners see uh, what's the best items you can flip, you know, some of the high margin items as well as the low margin items because you want to show a good variety of things because you never know what's available, you know, in your area. So I've picked out top 10 items that I've sold from the last couple weeks and let's take a look at them. First thing let's look at are some Carhartt pants that I just recently recently picked up in a trip to the thrift video. Um, I paid three dollars for these and I was uh, happy to find that they still had a uh, sticker on it from being brand new. So I sold these new without the tag and I think I had it set for $29.77 and um, somebody sent me an offer for like I think $26. I came back with $27.50 and they accepted the offer. So pretty good flip there. That's with free shipping. Um, $27.50 free shipping. $3 into almost 30 that's a pretty good flip and the next thing I want to show you while we're on the clothes theme um, we'll count this as one item you know a few different clothing items will uh, count as one on the list here these are some Levi's 527 men's jeans um, if y'all watch my trip to the thrift videos you see that I find Levi's jeans a lot and these sold for $22.77 with free shipping and um, that's usually the better side of things sometimes I end up uh, you know, holding on to them for too long and letting them go for about seventeen, sixteen fifty at the least. But most of the time, I get anywhere from eighteen to about twenty three dollars for my Levi's that I pick up, depending on the style and depending on the condition that they're in. And that goes for uh, men's and women's. Sometimes the uh, there's a few women's styles that actually go for a little bit higher than this. I've gotten up to about almost twenty eight dollars for a pair of used uh, women's Levi's jeans. So. Levi's there's plenty of them around here in Louisiana so I find plenty of them and I go ahead and pick them up when they're at a good price and turn into good flips this next clothing item is a cinch western shirts I also picked this up at the uh, same thrift store as the Carhartt pants so two items from a, a recent find um, sold that quick uh, I talk about the cinch brand all the time it's a very good western uh, quality shirt and pants and stuff they make actually very nice clothes to be honest I don't wear a whole lot of Western clothes but every time I deal with these cinch brand stuff um, you can just feel it in your hands the quality is great so that's why they hold very good resale value and this is a what is the size is it size medium so I was able to get 19 bucks for it. I think I had it listed for 22.77 um, somebody came with an offer of I think 17 bucks and I sent back a counter offer of 19 and they took it so I believe too they even sometimes buyers don't recognize that the shipping is free so he had offered 17 and I counter offered with uh, 19 and he counter offered again with 19 asking or saying in the uh, message um, I'll pay 19 with free shipping and it's already free shipping so I went ahead and accepted that so that's just funny to me. Sometimes buyers don't pay, you know, don't really look at the shipping details. They just automatically assume they're going to be paying shipping, I guess. Um, but that was the last clothing item. Uh, and I don't, you know, I do sell a lot of clothes. I say that a lot. But I guess in my uh, top items to resell list, I don't show them off that much. Kind of because I find it boring. I like to show off electronics and more rare finds other than like clothing, which a lot of people come across. But I think soon I'm going to do a um, top 10 of what's sold of just clothing. Uh, that way to give people an idea of what kind of brands and stuff because clothing is easy to find so why not share the stuff that I find that I make pretty good money on so hopefully you can find some of that too. The next item we're going to go to are these Alpine Stars uh, motorcycle gloves. These are men's size medium gloves. I think I found these at a yard sale for three bucks. When I originally looked them up the uh, the style that they are it looked to have pretty high resale value. I started these things off at $39.77, but they just weren't moving. That was a few months ago when I found these, so I kept lowering the price a few dollars here and there. Um, eventually got down to 30 bucks. I was asking $29.77. Somebody sent me an offer of 25, so I jumped on it. I was tired of holding on to them. I honestly thought that these would go a lot faster. Um, I figured they'd sell within the first month, you know, from looking at the comps on eBay. So, for me to eventually get them sold and t get 25 for them, that's still a really good flip. Like I said, I only paid like 3 bucks for them. And um, they were able to ship first class because they were really light. So, a uh, really good find there. 
Next thing I got here are these Crocs uh, women's slip-on shoes. These are women's size seven and a half. And the reason I bring the size up is because I've been saying a lot recently, these Crocs, they're really light. And sometimes depending on what the size is, it'll be less than, you know, a pound. And you can end up throwing these things in a uh, bubble mailer and ship them first class. So that's exactly what I did here. I uh, picked these up, I think, at a yard sale or a thrift store for three bucks. I know I only paid three bucks for them. Ended up getting $25.77 with free shipping and was able to ship them first class. So made a pretty good flip on this one. Next up is this uh, HP Lightscribe DVD Plus R uh, burnable DVDs. This is a un unopened sealed 15 pack. I think I originally had these things listed for $29.77 and i thought this would be a quick flip too they kind of sat on the shelf for a little bit so eventually when somebody came through with an offer of 25 i jumped on it uh i believe i was able to put this in a small box and it still weighed less than a pound so i was able to ship it first class so another good little flip there and the next thing we have is this logitech uh desktop keyboard and mouse um, it was brand new. I actually got this for free from one of the thrift stores that I go to all the time when they uh, give me free electronics that they don't want to deal with. And uh, like I said, it still had the uh, factory seals on it, so I didn't bother to open it up. I just took some pictures of the box, listed it for $39.77, and somebody bought it full price. So pretty good flip there. I did have to make a uh, Franken box out of a few priority mail boxes to uh, get something to cover it because it's you know long rectangle or whatnot. But um, Shipping didn't cost that much. I think it was around 12 bucks, so pretty good flip, especially since I didn't have any cost in the item, so can't complain about that. Next up, we have this Bug Assault gun. This is the 2.0 Bug Assault. Don't get it twisted. I found this at the thrift store for $2.25. I originally picked it up, you know, for myself because uh, I've seen these things before and I have had a friend that had one and they were really cool. Um, but just to see, I looked it up on eBay and saw that they sell from around 25 to 30 bucks. But still decided, you know what, I'm going to keep it and play around with it. But quickly realized when you live in Louisiana and you're right next to a lake, I don't care if you have 100 of these, you're not getting rid of the fly. So I went ahead and cleaned it up, listed it, and sold it within a couple days for 25 bucks. Um, I think I had it originally listed for $29.77 with free shipping. Somebody sent me an offer of 25 and I jumped on it. So I like to get rid of my stuff. Uh, if somebody sends me a fair offer, um, I go ahead and take it. I don't want to mess with them too much. It also, for some reason, gives you a boost in eBay's eyes. They see that you're getting rid of stuff, you know, taking offers that are being sent to you. So they start pushing your items higher in the ranks, hoping that people will send you more offers and you'll accept more offers. So 25 bucks for a bug assault gun, can't beat that. And the next thing we have is this Samsung TV uh, TV base stand. Haven't been selling too many TV parts lately, haven't been finding too many TVs to resell and break down and stuff. Listed it for $34.77 with free shipping and somebody bought it full price. Uh, this is a small base. I mean, it's literally, it's maybe like this big. It's meant for like a 29 to a 32 inch TV. Was really, really light to ship. It was, it literally only weighed two and a half pounds. I think it cost me like $9.05 to ship it priority mail. So pretty good flip there. Next up is this time clock, this uh, punch clock that I picked up at a yard sale not too long ago. I paid five bucks for this. And when I was looking up comps on eBay, I saw that there was some like this similar to this selling for around hundred and fifty dollars so that's what i was hoping for but i knew i also saw some that were going um for fifty dollars as not working just for parts only so i put this one up on auction and um unfortunately only got twenty nine dollars plus twenty six dollars shipping so i think in the end that was like fifty four bucks something like that so um didn't do as good as i was hoping but still made money on it so we can't complain about that it just, uh, there wasn't that extra hundred on top like I was hoping. So um, it's all right. I took a risk uh, and still made money. You know, we still made profit. So nothing to complain about. Just uh, was expecting a little more on that one. But um, somebody got themselves a nice Latham time clock, time punch clock with uh, an extra hood and a key. So pretty good deal there and pretty good flip. Next thing we got here is this Technics um, RST22 stereo dual cassette tape player. I also bundled it together with some audio cables and two free uh, blank cassette tapes for recording and stuff. It's uh, It's been sitting on the shelves, but I mean, eventually somebody paid full price for it. I was asking $49.77 plus free shipping, 
and uh, somebody bought it full out. So the last thing to show you guys is actually two items. Um, recently I just listed two different Nintendo Wii bundles. Um, they're basically the same thing, they just, they both come with three games and they both come with three different games to each bundle. So, listed them both for $49.77 with free shipping and uh, within the hour got an uh, offer on both of them from the same buyer. They sent me $34 on one and $45 on the other one. Um, I sent them a message back on the uh, $34 one letting them know like, hey, I see you're trying to buy both of them for $79. Let's go ahead and make it $80 and let's make a deal, you know? So I had sent them a counter offer of $35 and that message and um, they accepted it. They accepted the $35 offer so I went ahead and accepted their $45 offer on the other Wii. And so now I've got two Wii consoles, six games, and all the extra stuff that goes with it to ship out to one buyer. So originally, you know, I was asking 100 bucks would, would have been the total cost if I got what I was asking for off of both of them. So basically we took $20 off of that and I was able to ship it to one person though. So that'll save a lot of money in shipping and uh, made a really quick flip. But that's gonna be it for the uh, top 10 of what's sold on eBay. Like I said, I'll put out a um, top 10 of uh, clothing items that I've sold recently. Maybe even do like a top 20, something like that. Um, I like using those terms because it helps me in the uh, YouTube search ranks and stuff like that. People just you know, gravitate to the words top, uh, top 10, top 20, stuff like that. So it helps me out, but who knows, I might just throw a bunch of them in a video just to show you guys what kind of clothing items I sell and uh, just to try to give you guys some more knowledge on uh, what you can pick up, you know. I know there's a lot more people that have way more knowledge than me, you know, I'm not talking to you. If you're experienced, then, uh, you know, keep doing you and keep flipping on. I like creating these videos as like entertainment. I really have fun editing in them and stuff. So um, at the same time, I want to give beginners and people uh, that are new to reselling some motivation and some uh, inspiration on the different items to pick up and stuff like that so hit that like button if you enjoyed this video today also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more big flips if you're new to my channel and you want more tips on how to sell on ebay then check out some of my playlists also if you're new to reselling and need some shipping supplies on the cheap cheap then check out my affiliate links down in the description if you purchase something through one of those links i make a small commission on it and it directly helps support the channel so i really appreciate it thanks to each and every one of you for watching my videos and until i see y'all next time Keep flipping.